Well, you were sipping my ties on Tuesday. I ventured out to Lululemon at Mall of America for the bliss feel sneaker launch day at Lululemon. Um, just some background on the shoe. For those of you who don't know, uh, mm-hmm. the bliss feel shoe retails for $148 and is the first in line of four shoes that Lululemon will be releasing in 2022. The shoe is being touted as the first specifically designed for women. They spent, uh, sorry, they being Lululemon first spent running four, shoe, right? Uh, first running shoe. Yes. But first shoe in general, they're saying oh. like, this has specifically been designed for women. Um, and Lululemon spent four years in research and development to create the shoe and took over 1 million foot scans with tech partner and future Amitak retail, uh, guest podcast interview, podcast interview yeah. volumental to make sure that they got it right before going to market. Um, Chris, it was pretty incredible. Yeah. Talk, tell us about say. it. I mean, I, you, I've got thoughts, but I want to hear your thoughts. Like, what was the experience like? You it know? was insane. I got there on Tuesday morning. I made an appointment even to, to like try the shoes on. There were, people were swarming. I put a video out on YouTube and on LinkedIn. You guys should check this out to see it. But people were coming in. They were trying these on. They were not even some people were not even trying them on, Chris. They just said, I'm a size eight. I'm out. Put it's them nuts. at the counter. And they were out of there. So it it was definitely mind blowing just to see, I knew people were like huge Lululemon diehards and for sure they're on the first day. So they're coming to pick these up, but it was pretty incredible just how many people were taking these home. And I was surprised even like, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical ahead of time. Like "Mm, I'm pretty particular about running shoes, but they are pretty nice. They're pretty cushy. I would compare them to like a Hoka running shoe for those Mm. are familiar um, with like a Nike top if that makes mm. sense. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, hold, them I, up, hold, hold them up again. And as, as you answer this question, okay. because, okay. because yeah, the shoe, the shoe color is pretty hot. Like, yeah. And so you tried that you, you went running in them and then I, you did a CrossFit workout in them too. Now hold your foot up as you answer that question and okay. explain that. This is going to be very hard. Chris. <laughs> I know that's I why I have you do, do it. This. Thank you. <laughs> I can barely talk. I feel like I have a fake guitar in my hand. Like, Meh. um, <laughs> So yes, I did a run in them. They're great for running. I did a cross training, um, like hit workout in them also not so great for that. Still, they're pretty cushy. So I, I have to say like, I'm, I'll be waiting for the trainer, the cross trainer shoe that's coming out later this year to see if that's a little bit better. But the, I think the most important thing here is that they are doing a 30 day trial guarantee, which mm. you don't always see when, I mean, if you're, if you buy shoes off of Nike, you might see that option as like a Nike member. But mm-hmm. in most cases, when you go to Dick's sporting goods and stuff, like you don't get a 30 day trial. That's pretty specific to, you know, specialized running shoe stores. So you can do, you can try these for 30 days. Once you know, you d- you're done with that. Even if you don't like the color, they said you can just return them. So for Lululemon, I think it's going to be getting people's feet in shoes. And once they do, I think they're going to do much better than I expected. But yeah. what, what are your thoughts? That's I mean, awesome. I mean, I don't have much to add on it because you, you're, you're living it. But I mean, the first thing I thought of when I saw your video, I, this one, I just put my like qualitative merchant hat on, you know, I was like, Ooh, those are hot. Like those are, those are well done. Like just design wise, those look good. They, they're smoking hot. Like I could see people wanting to wear those around town. Like they nice job on the overall design. Um, and then the second thing I'd say too, is I couldn't believe how many people were talking about this. Like I'm out I in know. Phoenix. People were bringing this up at dinner unsolicited. Like, did you hear about Lululemon's new shoe? And I'm like, yeah, I, I heard about it. I, I've talked about it quite a lot. You know, my yeah. partner did a video and, and they're like, oh, yeah, what'd she say? What'd she think? And then I started telling them about the slides that are coming and people were getting equally excited as I was last week on the show about that. So I don't know. Kudos to you for doing it, for getting out there and, and, and you know, braving the the, the traffic. And I can't imagine that was always the most fun thing either with all those people eagerly trying to get their shoes. But yeah, I mean, it seems like from your early verdict, it seems like it's a big win and it's going well, to be an explosive win too. And the other yeah. thing people I would say too, is a lot of the guys I were talking to were like, when are they coming out for guys? Yes. Like they were already saying that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great point. Men's the men's shoe uh, interest, I think will be also pretty significant here. 